Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to talk about this weird robot. You know, I was just randomly uh, browsing the Epson website looking for a printer, but apparently they're making this robot and his name is not Sophia and it's not Mark. I don't really know what the name of this one is. I don't think he has a name, but when I saw it, this kind of head, you can see the eyes and the head, this shape, it reminded me of something 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 and if you've been studying your uh, Sumerian Mesopotamian um, culture and religion you might know what I'm talking about and in particular I'm talking about the eye idols so let's look at the eye idols over here so the eye idols are these guys right here so you can totally see the similarity between this robot and the eye idols right that's pretty damn close i mean you have the eyes over here almost no like no forehead right um a long neck no mouth really so these are the eye idols and they come from northern syria northeastern syria in this place uh called Tell Brock, Tell Brock. So um, there's been excavations there up until about 2011 when the civ civil war in Syria broke out, stopping all excavations. And now these figures are endangered, these I idols. And um, let's look at some more, um, some more pictures of these I idols because there's sketches of them, and apparently some of them even wore hats cone-shaped hats and square rounded hats and even jewelry you can see them wearing jewelry and even Pope Catholic Pope looking hats as well um, some of them are larger some of them are smaller some of them are together con like almost like conjoined and these are the actual stone um, figurines over here they date back about 5,000 years ago, so they're pretty old. Uh, let's look at some more of these mysterious I idols. And by the way, if you know uh, what they represent, because there's not much information about them. There's not even a lot of theories about what these Mesopotamian I idols are. But they were found in the so-called I Temple. So think about that. They were found in the I Temple, and there was a huge, uh, in the middle of the center altar, there was a huge double I idol um, stone with two eyes, and all of these were found in that temple. So you can see the double ones, the ones with the hat, and um, different colors too. So quite interesting. Um, some more over here and again these are endangered now and um, if you're a collector or whatnot you know you have to <laughs> make sure that these I idols were not appropriated illegally by Isis because apparently the Isis is um, bent on destroying these culture this cultural heritage of what is now is North Syria and um, so let's look again about this robot so obvious similarity and look at what it says for their um, headline over here it says a fast learner that sees everything so when when I saw that it sees everything obviously you know the all-seeing eye comes to mind um, but also the fact that it looks so like these I idols. Cross-referencing Zachariah Sitchin's writing and actually found some information on this, on these I idols in Tal Brock. And this is what he says. Such apparently supernatural equipment which made it possible to communicate with a deity 
through though the deity was physically somewhere else became objects of veneration sacred cult symbols temples at Lagash or Mari and other ancient sites included among their devotional objects I idols the most outstanding example was found at an I temple at Tel Brak in northwestern Mesopotamia this fourth millennium temple was so named not only because hundreds of eye symbols or eye idols were unearthed there but mainly because the temple's inner sanctum had only one altar on which a huge stone double eye was displayed in all probability it was a simulation of the actual divine object Ninurta's terrible eye or the one at Enlil's mission control center at Nippur about which the ancient scribe reported his raised eye scans the land his raised beam searches the land article if you wanna read more about the location it's called Tel Brock very interesting location um, this is what it looks like now, just a desert, but before it's believed to be um, one of the early urban centers. And it was in the middle of it was um, a religious temple that actually, which is the eye temple with those eye idols. Um, and people would even go there like uh, to worship it from far away. But not many, not much information what these idols are related in relation to the Mesopotamian religion uh, and re I wanted to know what how they relate to the Anunnaki uh, maybe they're the Igigi or the Ejiji uh, subclass of the Anunnaki or maybe that there's something that predate the Anunnaki but I wasn't really able to find much um, information that connects the dots with the Anunnaki but regardless, I found some interesting information uh, regarding to the Mesopotamian and Sumerian um, culture is that this settlement was the city where these eye idols were found. It actually slightly predates the famous city of, of Uruk of Sumeria, one of the first nation states and Gilgamesh was one of the kings of Uruk so this city where these eye idols were found actually slightly predates Uruk which I, I thought was interesting so these eye idols must be um, pretty ancient the eye temple is unique in the Fertile Crescent and its main deity Belet Nagar I couldn't find much information on Belet Nagar even uh, was revered in the entire Kabul region making city a pilgr pilgrimage site so that's quite interesting the findings in the I temple indicate that Tel Brak is among the earliest sites of organized religion in northern Mesopotamia it is unknown to which deity the I temple was dedicated and the I figurines appears to be votive offerings to that unknown deity. It's hypothesized by Michael Meslin that the temple was the center of the Sumerian Inanna or the Semitic Ishtar and of course Ishtar and Inanna are Isis so no wonder that this terrorist Isis group is trying to wiped us away because they're just a front group of some really evil satanists um, shaitan is the deceiver anyway so Sumerian Inanna and Semitic Ishtar and this is important and the eye, eyes figurines were a representation of an all-seeing female deity so this is probably the most interesting thing I found other than what I talked about you know talk about all seeing eye the eye of providence the eye of the Illuminati but this is 
the all-seeing eye of the female deity. So I guess that would be the Inanna or the Ishtar or Isis. How they relate to the Anunnaki. Um, that would be interesting to find out. For example, are they aliens? I mean, they clearly have the characteristics of the ET alien, especially this one in color. You know, remember the ET was kind of like a, this color in the movie ET. Um, or were they some kind of robots and we're just recreating the past? What do you think? What do you know? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless.